Bureau of Fire Protection Region 6, demonstrating an adaptive and progressive service, continues to establish performance over and above its mandate amidst the challenges it faced. Paving the way to a modernized, sustainable new BFP-6. Together, these are our annual accomplishment report for the year 2021. For the administrative accomplishments, we were able to conduct a total of four recruitment processes translated to 216 new fire officer one. On the other hand, 786 BFP personnel were promoted under the guidelines in the conduct of promotion through region-wide seniority linear listing. 35 personnel were promoted to SF04, 46 to SF03, 57 to SF02, 133 to SF01, 75 to F03, and 440 to F02. As to the morale and benefits, we were able to process 28 retirement claims, 43 regular pension, 20 transfer of pension, 7 special project fund, 6 scholarship grants intended for BFP6 personnel survivors, 3 medical reimbursements, and 25 terminal leave claims. Moreover, we were able to collect a total of 1,695,023 pesos financial assistance for BFP personnel. We were able to give 1,075 awards and commendations to boost the morale of our personnel, four of which are Medallia ng Kasanayan, 145 Medallia ng Papuri, 82 Medallia ng Pagtulong sa Nasalanta, and 844 commendations. Further, service awards were also given to 27 retirees in recognition of their fruitful service to the Bureau. For the purpose of instilling discipline among BFP6 personnel, the hearing office has heard administrative cases against 37 BFP6 personnel through multiple complaint of the regional director, to wit, one respondent for gross neglect of duty one for grave misconduct and conduct prejudicial to the best interests of the service, nine for simple neglect of duty, and 29 for insubordination. Of these cases, 18 were decided, 17 respondents were reprimanded, and one was suspended for one month and one day without pay, as they were found to have violated BFP's established rules and regulations. We have institutionalized the region-wide application for issuance of BFP ID to BFP6 personnel, retirees, and survivors. For fire safety enforcement, we were commended by the Director for Fire Safety Enforcement of the National Headquarters as one of the four regions that exceeded the physical target for fire safety inspection for calendar year 2021. With a target of 131,811 establishments based on BPLO, PESA and government buildings, we have recorded a total number of 137,750 fire safety inspections region-wide with an increase of 4.51% or 5,939 establishments inspected. However, as to the total number of inspected establishments to include the application for occupancy permit, we noted an overall decrease of 2.27% from 148,509 inspected establishments in the year 2020 to 145,142 in the year 2021. Specifically, in the province of Aklan, which decreased by 12.75%, province of Antique by 3.40%, province of Iloilo by 0.64%, and province of Negros Occidental by 5.54%. Despite the decrease of fire safety inspection conducted, 
we still managed to increase the fire code fees collection from 156,591,867 pesos and 19 centavos to 161,935,301 pesos and 37 centavos. An increase of 3.41% or 5,343,434 pesos and 18 centavos. It spiked of a considerable decrease of 17.79% from the province of Aklan and 1.09% from the province of Negros Occidental. The increase was attributed to fire code construction tax. We have issued a total of 168 notice to comply 3 notice to correct violation with administrative fine amounting to 137,500 and 1 abatement order amounting to 50,000 to different establishments across the region. Another noteworthy accomplishment is the successful staging of BFP6 OLP Live for we have garnered a total of 8,287 live viewers for the 12 episodes for calendar year 2021. OLP on the road for calendar year 2021 exceeded its target number of barangays from 1,215, which is 30% of the total number of barangays in Western Visayas, to 1,345 barangays. We conducted a successful 10-day basic fire safety enforcement training course on revised implementing rules and regulations of Republic Act 9514 for 298 fire safety inspectors. Likewise, we conducted webinars on guidelines in the construction, storage, handling, and use of flammable and combustible liquids for TSRO, guidelines in the implementation of fire protection for electrical equipment room, new revised BFP Citizens Charter, and policy and guidelines adopting responsive fire safety enforcement activities and procedures for the National Alert System for COVID-19 pandemic to capacitate our officers and personnel on the updates on fire safety and enforcement. Our operations accomplishments a total of 1,031 EMS responses have been recorded for the year 2021 as the public now recognizes the role of firefighters as one of the leading emergency medical assistance providers. Highlighting such responses are the unusual calls received by Murcia, Pasi, Binalbagan, and Sipalay Fire Stations personnel where they assisted patients and successfully removed a stock ring on a swollen finger, as well as the successful removal of a stock peanut on a two-year-old patient's nostril by Morsa Fire Station personnel. Further, having branded as the front runner in the animal rescue activities in the whole region, a total of 35 animal rescues were conducted. This increased demand on EMS responses is a testament that we have been performing outstandingly in diversified services. The Special Rescue Force, originally having one team of Special Rescue Unit in the province of Iloilo in the year 2015, has finally completed its activation in all the provinces of the whole region on May 25, 2021. Likewise, we conducted various technical rescue trainings on water safety search and rescue with 36 participants and basic rescue technique course with 63 successful participants to further capacitate our rescue personnel. Recently, BFP Evisan Fire Station in the province of Capiz was the first to initiate and activate the Special Rescue Force Marine Fire Unit in the region. The creation of Special Rescue Force increased the Special Operations responses significantly during calendar year 2021 compared to calendar year 2020. From 258 incidents responded to 2,236 responses with a dramatic increase of 766.67%. 
noteworthy to mention are the responses involving three attempted suicide incidents in calendar year 2020 and eight attempted suicides and three retrieved for a total of 11 in calendar year 2021. During the onslaught of tropical depressions Dante, Emong, Fabian, Isang, Jolina, Kiko, Lani, Marin, Nando, and Odette, we responded to a total of 156 search and retrieval operations, 11 rescue operations, 174 clearing operations, evacuated 11,797 individuals, and distributed 3,380 relief goods to 2,887 affected families. Recently, 30 members of the Special Rescue Force were deployed to Region 7 to augment in the clearing and retrieval operations as well as to render humanitarian assistance. In response to the worldwide outbreak of the COVID-19, our nurses augmented to the healthcare workforce to various hospitals across the region. 307 were deployed in COVID ward hospitals in Iloilo City, Capiz, and Aplan, as well as in various vaccination sites in the whole region. 1,184 personnel participated in the Bayanihan Bakunahan National COVID Vaccination. We also have deployed a total of 111 personnel in different checkpoints and control points across the region. We were able to conduct 19,488 decontamination procedures region-wide on the different public and private facilities, including vehicles. In compliance with the minimum public health standards set by the government, a total of 135 out of 155 fire stations, substations, and provincial offices region-wide have already secured its safety seal certificate. 15 fire substations, namely Boracay Island Special Fire Protection Unit, Arevalo, Haro, Molo, Manduriao, La Paz, Barrio Obrero, Altachera, Tagbac, San Isidro, Calumpa, Santo Nino, Lawaan, Loktugan, and Kulasi. One provincial office of the province of Dimaras, four fire stations, San Jose, Hamtik, Oton, and Calatrava fire stations, were not able to secure its safety seal certificate due to various reasons such as unavailability of evaluators, lack of isolation rooms, among others. A total of 2,102 BFP6 personnel out of 2,336 had been fully vaccinated. As to the number of fire incidents for calendar year 2021, a decrease of 52 or 3.79 percent of fire incidents was recorded as compared to 1,372 for calendar year 2020. The decrease was attributed to non-structural fires incidents, which is 339 for calendar year 2021, compared to 490 for calendar year 2020. An increase in fire incidents involving structural and vehicular fire was noted, with an increase of 8.61% for structural and 33.7% for vehicular. As to the cost of damage to properties, there is an increase from 129,969,401 pesos for calendar year 2020 to 1,035,899,633 pesos and 25 centavos for calendar year 2021, or an increase of 697 percent which is attributed to the fire incidents that transpired in two major commercial establishments, namely Gaisano Mall in the province of Antique and Oton Public Market in the province of Iloilo. To further strengthen personnel in conducting fire incident investigation, we were able to host the first regional training on fire arson investigation operations course 
which was participated by 37 fire and arson investigators. Consistent with the four pillars of health and wellness, all personnel from the Office of the Regional Director participated in the Burn It to Win It weight loss competition. The purpose of this challenge is to develop healthy lifestyle habits. As support for this challenge, BFB6 is conducting afternoon activities such as Zumba. For logistical accomplishments, the year 2021 is considerably the year for major accomplishments for the BFB6 as it embarks on the 10-year BFB modernization period. We have completed 12 typical fire stations, namely San Jose, Hamtic, but no one fire stations in the province of Antique, Cuartero, Panay, and Pilar fire stations in the province of Capiz, Oton, Barotac Viejo, Lambunao, Sara, and Estancia fire stations in the province of Iloilo, and San Enrique fire station, province of Negros Occidental. Moreover, repairs and improvements for 20 fire stations were completed, namely, Libacao, Malinao, Makato, and Altavas Fire Stations in the province of Aklan, Kulasi Fire Station, province of Antique, Roja City, Maayon, Panitan, and Tapas Fire Stations in the province of Capiz, Hordan Fire Station, province of Guimaras, Ahuy, Concepcion, and Duenas Fire Stations in the province of Iloilo, Hinubaan Fire Station, province of Negros Occidental. Also included are the kitchen repairs at Altachera Fire Substation, water supply system repair of Lambunao and Bacolod City Fire Stations, enhancement of BFP6 Regional Headquarters, and installation of fixed base radio, extension of garage, and improvement of EMS and dental clinic of Bacolod City Fire Station. There are, however, 11 pending constructions of fire stations under the Philippine International Trading Corporation. Out of 117 municipalities and 16 cities, we have almost saturated the entire region with 112 municipal fire stations, leaving only 5 municipalities without fire stations, namely Sapian Province of Capiz, Lezo and Madalag, province of Aklan, Kaluya and Anini'i in the province of Antique. We were given a total of two lots for use of rocks, namely Valladolid, province of Negros Occidental, and Banga Fire Station, province of Aklan, and was also donated with seven lots from benevolent stakeholders for the constructions of fire stations namely Centro Sur, Pandan, Antique, Poblacion, Lezo, Aklan, Poblacion, Kawayan, Negros Occidental, Ilog, Negros Occidental, Leganes, Iloilo, Banica, Fire Substation, Roja City, Capiz, and San Junicio, Iloilo. Various fire stations and fire substations were activated across the region. This aims to expand the reach of BFP6 services to the community, namely Banga, Batan, and Nabas Fire Stations, Province of Aklan, Habdik Fire Station, Province of Antique, Tanay Fire Station, Province of Capiz, Isabela Fire Station, Province of Negros Occidental, and Kulasi Fire Substation, Province of Capiz. Inaugurations and blessings of new fire station buildings were also conducted, which include Hamtik and Patnongon Province of Antique, Panay and Cuartero Province of Capiz, and Estancia Province of Iloilo. It is with great pride and honor that through the leadership of the Regional Director, BFP6 personnel has transferred to their new Regional Headquarters at Block 19A, 4th Main Avenue, Phase 3, Altachera Village, Haro, Iloilo City, last October 4, 2021. For firefighting apparatus, we have completed the repair of 44 fire trucks. Municipality of San Junicio donated one-unit fire truck 
for the activation of San Genesio Fire Station and another is in the process for donation from Fairways and Blue Water Resorts, Gulf and Country Club, Boracay Island, Malay Province of Aklan. MOA between BFP6 and concerned LGUs enabled us to provide personal for LGU-owned ambulances. The understanding primary aims to hasten the delivery of emergency medical responses. These LGUs include Pasi City, Zaraga, San Enrique, and Badiangan. There are 22 LGU-owned motorcycles manned by personnel for inspection and other administrative and operational purposes, including the first-of-its-kind fire motorcycle units, which are equipped with firefighting appliances. Korean Federation Association donated personal protective equipment to further support our firefighting and other emergency capabilities. For the financial management, our financial status shows 100% of the total allotment was obligated and 96.34% was disbursed. In order to align with our thrust of providing efficient and effective services, initiatives were undertaken for the year 2021. We have revolutionized the morale and welfare provided for the retirees by successfully establishing retirees' office in all provinces as an initiative to answer the needs of retirees and survivors. It will serve as rallying point for retirees' official and other activities. Another successful initiative of BFP6 is the conduct of daily monitoring activities such as morning exercise and the checking of fire apparatus which are being practiced by the BFP6 personnel in their respective fire stations. The purpose of these activities is to maintain fitness among the BFP personnel. Also, daily checking of fire apparatus is done to maintain serviceability for emergency responses. In pursuit to further elevate our standard of public service, we remain steadfast in our commitments to the people. Here are our plans and programs for the year 2022. Administrative Division Online real-time attendance region-wide Centralized Biometrics Start the accreditation for Prime HRM For Fire Safety Enforcement Division Enhanced promotion of public safety and fire safety through intensified linkages with concerned stakeholders like PIA, PDRMO, MDRMO, Barangay Officials, and TAMODS. Conduct of the 10 days training seminar on Republic Act 9514 and its revised IRR to increase the number of fire safety enforcers. For Operations Division, Procurement of another batch of EMS bags, Conduct of FAIOC training for fire arson investigators, Procurement of additional rescue tools and equipment, Conduct of enhancement training for EMS personnel, Procurement of additional dental instruments and supplies, Procurement of fire investigation kits, Enhancement Trainings for SRF Logistics Division Improvement and Conversion of BFP Utility Vehicle into Cargo Vehicle and Procurement and Installation of Filing Cabinets Project Maintenance Training for Project Engineers and Architects Creation of Branch in Charge for the Lot Titling of the Donated Lots Creation of Appraisal Committee for Building Insurance Creation of physical and digital database with maintenance and repair records of all motor vehicles to be connected to the main regional logistics database. Additional restriction code 3 for BFP personnel with FTO designation. Defensive driving and preventive maintenance training for BFP personnel with FTO designation. Installation of CCTV to critical infrastructures. Procurement of Best Control Services for RHQ Database for Desktop Computers issued to stations with specific preventive maintenance records 
as basis for live cyclic procurement. Amidst the calamities and pandemic, we, the brave men and women of Bureau of Fire Protection 6, remain steadfast and committed to go above and beyond the call of duty, which lead us to become the best versions of ourselves in serving the public with excellence, dedication, and honor. Tamo git na salamat ang halipayon na bagong tuig sa atong tanan.